Today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about my home, South Africa. So as you may know, we've had quite a turbulent history. The Dutch were the first to settle in Cape Town and eventually the British came to colonize the country too. And after many years of conflict between the British, the Dutch and the Zulus, the British eventually took control. As a result, there was always cultural tension and this was formalized in 1948 when the ruling government adopted the apartheid policy which actually means separateness. With this policy, black people were segregated and afforded unequal rights in comparison to white people. There were many years of protest and armed resistance to these unfair policies. This picture here below 1964 is actually a famous one from one of the most brutal protests called the Sharpeville Massacre. And here many South African youth were killed. In 1964, Nelson Mandela, the leader of the African National Congress, which was the opposition party, was sentenced to life imprisonment. After many more years of struggle, apartheid was finally abolished, Mandela was released, and in 1994, he became president of our new democracy. 1994 was also the year that my sisters and I were born. We were fortunate enough to have a good education and reap some of the significant benefits of having the right color skin. However, during our childhood, we were exposed to the reality for the majority of our country. We are not so lucky. So this amazing woman here in this picture was our helper and our second mom. She lived with us and she helped to raise us. And she had been oppressed during apartheid and she was not given a good high school education. And as a result, she still faces the repercussions of apartheid. Our country has a very long way to go before we will really all be afforded equal opportunities. But on the bright side, there really is hope for South Africa. It has been called the land of milk and honey, which is a rough translation from a Khoisan word. And we have some of the richest biodiversity and we are famous for our wildlife and our marine life, including some of the big five. South Africa has been described as a world in one country because of the range of pristine natural landscapes from coastlines to winelands to the African bush. We also have some of the best weather in the world. Because of our history, we have an incredible cultural diversity which has been called the Rainbow Nation and we also have 11 official languages. Our country is rich in metals and minerals and as you can see here, for a tiny country, we have a very large share of the global production of metals and minerals. South Africa also has some world-class infrastructure and cities, with some amazing healthcare, food, shopping and finance. While there's still a lot of poverty, and we are currently being run by a very corrupt government, it will take time before we can fully overcome the past. But South Africa has so much promise and opportunity, and so with that, I'd like to leave you with this very fitting quote from our great leader. After climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb.